Hello, hello, hello. I am Lori and I am your Pamper Keto Chef. And I thought I would do a quick demo featuring the air fryer, which let's make sure you guys can see it. Sadly, that window's not super helpful over here. It's super bright. Sorry about that. I have it closed. It's not, it doesn't seem to matter. So welcome. I have people on my feed. Hey, Michaela, I'm glad you could join us. I don't always advertise I'm gonna do this because it's like too big of a commitment during coronavirus. I just kind of go with the flow. And the nice thing is you can rewatch it later. So those who missed it will still have the opportunity to go back and watch it again. And um, I usually do a what's for dinner Wednesday, but that hasn't worked out for me the last couple of Wednesdays. This is also when I check my overgrowth of hair. Um, I haven't had time the last couple of Wednesday nights and I asked my husband asked me to start doing lunch with Lori He came up with it. I thought it was cool um, Instead of what's for dinner Wednesday because I have to kick him out of the TV area in order to film So this way I don't have to kick anybody out because he's sleeping. He works graves. So we we're weird around here so I'm going to be featuring the brand new deluxe air fryer from Pampered Chef and it is actually my third air fryer. So I know what I'm talking about when I say it is the bomb and it is one of my favorite tools. Let me just bring this over here. I'm going to adjust you guys just a little so you can see it. I love that it has all these presets already on it. We have air fry, bake, so you can bake like brownies or a little cake or cinnamon rolls I hear are really good in here. Um, roast, we have baked bread in here actually. And hey, hey Miss Georgie, I'm glad you could join us. Um, you can do roast, it has a rotisserie feature which we're going to be doing today. And then it has the reheat feature which is the bomb. Like if you get leftover pizza, don't put it in your microwave, it goes soggy. Ugh. Nobody likes that soggy crust. Throw it in here on reheat gonna get you that nice crispy I love reheating my uh, buffalo wild wings in here and then we have dehydrate isn't that cool that, so I donated my dehydrator to a friend hey miss Nikki she knows what she's talking about as far as this stuff so I'm just showing off the new um, deluxe air fryer so it does come with a drip tray in here let me just show you real quick I'll pull this out so I've actually got two cameras going so I apologize I've got my party camera over here and my regular just feed. So this is the drip tray that just goes in the bottom. Trust me, you're gonna want that. It cleans up super sweet. Don't put it in the dishwasher, just hand wash it. Um, did you get the butt pants and pay? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, my mom and I are big on vintage shopping. And so we actually purchased, most of those are the authentic color. I think the only one that was been painted was the baby blue one. So, um, and then it also has this tray, which it took me a while to figure out. This actually isn't one you cook on. This is actually to guard the heating element up here. So it has this nice little lip in here. Apparently it needs to be washed. We'll just pretend like we didn't notice that because I'm just cooking here. So, and then it comes with two trays. So you get the two trays, which are awesome. So I've had the air fryer that has the basket that pulls out hated it. I hated that the it just cooks around and then you have to flip it over and hope it gets to the bottom. It makes absolutely no sense to me. So I love that I can do like if you're doing let's talk chicken nuggets and french fries. You've got a tray for each of them. Oh, is that in sideways or lopsided? But you've got both of these. A little tip I'm going to share with you. Um, you can purchase these air fryer. Um, they're just parchment paper that fit right out. These are the large right off of Amazon. You get a hundred of them for like six dollars. So worth it because I hate cleaning these little grate off. But we're not going to be using these today. I'm going to put these aside. It also comes with a rotisserie basket. Let me grab mine. Um, I need to grab, Nikki's doing a Norwex party and I was going to ask her if the Norwex paste would clean this thing up to look brand new because I have not mastered how to get this super clean. So this baby just goes right in here on the rotisserie section. I'm not going to put it in all the way. But this is what you are going to need. I know they're hard to wash. Um, this is great for French fries and leftover fries. We get leftover Red Robin fries, go right in this baby, cook them up. They taste just like you bought them at the restaurant. So that is the bomb feature. I did try popcorn in it, Nikki. Don't do it. I mean, it pops. It takes like 15 minutes when you can just use the microwave popcorn popper from Pampered Chef and do it in like three and a half. So... There's that. I just wanted to see if it could work, if it would work. So today we're going to be using, I don't know how many have been in the, gro uh, the grocery store in the meat section. They sell, Jenny O or Hormel sell these um, tenderloins. This is a turkey, uh, what do they call it? Just 
turkey breast tenderloin. So, and they come in these nifty little plastic. And we do the pork quite a bit, and it comes, they have like six or seven different flavors. The turkey, I'm just in the mood for turkey. So I thought instead of doing a dinner time, I'd show you this earlier. So if you wanted to swing by the grocery store on the way home and pick one up, this one is the applewood. And for my keto friends, this only has four grams, uh, four carbs. And there's six servings. That's pretty big. So um, they do have a plain one. I just thought I would try out the apple wood. I thought that sounded yummy. So I'm gonna show you a nifty little trick with this guy to put these in and it cooks up beautifully. And I'm gonna use the rotisserie feature. You won't get to see it finished because it takes 45 minutes to cook, but I will post pictures on both my feeds of what it looks like when it's done. And then I've got a little side dish. I'm gonna be featuring the waffle stick pan after, so stay tuned. So here's a little tip. Just cut the top of your bag off here and then just make sure it's open enough that it's gonna come right slide right out so I just like to go down the sides a little bit now on the turkey I'll tell you the turkey we may have to actually put some Baker's twine on to keep it all together the tenderloin I've never had to so we're just gonna take this uh, I don't even know what we we'll call it spit fork or ten, the rotisserie fork and we're just gonna put that right in to our tenderloin while it's still in the bag and then just turn it over, pull it out and then just push it all the way back on. Oh, see, I do have two sections, so we're gonna tie that together, but the tenderloin, I don't have that problem. It's pretty sweet. So then I just put those forks in. Let's take a little bit of twine. Let me grab my towel. So how's everybody today? Oh, yay, Janelle's air fryer just shipped. I'm so glad you got one. Anna is the bomb. I'm glad she could help you with that. Dinner time here. Oh, well, there you go, Georgie. I forget you're not in Utah anymore. So I just have some baking twine. It's actually doodle bugs. Baking twine that they do for paper crafting comes in super handy. I have it in all different colors too. This is their thicker stuff. And this is what you would do. If you were doing a whole chicken, we would wanna tie the legs down using this as well. You can pick up Baker's Twine just about anywhere. Amazon's probably your cheapest. And there's really no pretty way to do this. I mean, I'm sure for someone, a baker, I'm just gonna hold those two pieces together because I don't want them to come apart while they're cooking. And I, I've learned don't do overdo it on the twine. It's kind of a, a pain in the tush to cut off if you have it because that night, you get that nice crispy uh, outside when you do rotisserie anything. And this is, by the way, cheaper than buying a, like a three pound turkey breast and doing it, just buy these. They range, depending on if they're on sale, I think this one was, I'm sure that stays together. This one was, I think, $8.99 and it was not on sale, but the pork was. So I'm just gonna put that into the rotisserie part and snap that in place, good to go. And we're gonna start that because I want it to be done in time for me to have an early dinner, late lunch. Again, lunch with Lori, my husband came up with it. So we're just gonna turn this on. We're gonna rot put it over to rotisserie. You can customize the time on it, makes it really easy. Um, I'm just gonna go with the, I've done these enough to know that that works great. If it were plain, I'd probably wanna add a little olive oil to the outside and salt and pepper it up. It, you don't have to go super fancy. Um, one thing I do know, okay, it thinks. You wanna make sure this little circle here is showing that it's doing rotisserie. And one thing I learned, I did this demo um, in a Zoom party last week, and I didn't, let me put this in the sink. And then I know these don't really work because I watched the Norex lady, but we're just gonna do it for my hands. And since I'm not feeding any of you, don't judge me, okay? Um, I'm gonna make sure it has a light. Oh, it's going around. I had it go for about half the time during my Zoom party, not realizing it wasn't locked into the position. You can't see it. I'm sorry, the light doesn't help a whole ton during online, but it is going around in circles. And I don't know what it is about that rotisserie feature. It just makes everything taste so perfect. What are you doing up? I tried to do this when my sous chef was sleeping. Here, come here. This is my sous chef. Her name is Suki. She's named after cute Melissa McCarthy's character on Gilmore Girls. And she is a black golden doodle. Isn't she the cutest? And she's supposed to be taking a nap, so I don't have to watch her, because now she's gonna probably have an accident while we're doing this, but that's okay. We'll let that go. I'm gonna be flexible. 
Okay, so while that's cooking, I wanted to show you guys a really fun thing. I, this week I was excited. I actually haven't had this pan, and I was excited when I earned it with some, what they call Pampered Chef dollars. Um, hi puppy, I know isn't she cute. We actually have another dog. She's a border doodle, she's two and a half, and we just thought she's really good at babysitting her and keeping her entertained, so. But this is the waffle stick pan, look how cute it is. So you could do a lot of amazing things. If you purchase this from me, I send you a PDF that shows you a bunch of different recipes. And I mean, seriously, for me, I'd probably just do like keto brownies in it or whatnot, but I'm super stoked. So today we're gonna be doing cauliflower waffle sticks. Cause I thought, you know, I could roast some cauliflower or oh, what would go good with turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm trying to keep it keto though. So I've got in my bowl so far is my rice cauliflower. I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do. We're gonna be using the manual food processor, which is a nifty little tool. I never knew I needed until I got it. Just watching the dog. So I, I've already done most of it. I don't want you guys to all have to sit there and watch me rice cauliflower. So I've already washed it and cut it apart. And that's all I have left. We're gonna put it in this. This has only four pieces to it. The fourth piece I don't have right here is just a lid if you're gonna store it, um, whatever's left inside. I love making guacamole in it. So if you don't like the smell of onions, this is a tool for you. It's also a little bit of a workout, but not hard. In fact, I find my ladies that struggle with the food chopper because of their arthritis, it hurts too much, prefer this tool because it's just a motion up and down. You're not having to get it. And those blades are going around and acting just like a food processor. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad so many people from my current party could make it. Thank you. Um, we're doing some rotisserie turkey in our air fryer, and I normally like to do air fryer features. Oh, I should probably take that off on Fridays because it's fry -yay. You get it, fry -yay. But I couldn't resist. I just, I picked up the turkey breast. I couldn't resist. So we won't see it finished because I'm not going to keep you here for 45 minutes. I want to keep this quick and to the point, but I will post pictures of my finished dishes. So right now we're just ricing some cauliflower. Look how beautiful that did. And one of my other favorite things, rice, ricing broccoli. Um, I love making pizza crust with broccoli. So we're just gonna dump that in my bowl. And I have, it calls for about a half a cup. I kind of eyeball this recipe, just so you, I'm gonna tell you what's in it and you can kind of modify it um, as needed. It needs one large head of cauliflower that's been riced. And if you don't have a manual food processor, of course I can help you get that. But a uh, grater would work as well. You can use the microplane grater. The coarse grater works great. Just grate it, um, be aware of your fingers, may use the guard on it. I know this from experience. Um, we're going to go ahead, oh, there I put it. This is the microplane grater that I love. I love that it stores flat. It does come with a guard and an extra piece. And I love that you can grate on it this direction it locks into position or this direction. So we're just gonna pull out our hard Parmesan cheese because I think it tastes better than that. Ooh, I hate the stuff in the can. That craft stuff, throw it away. It's not any good. I don't even know what's in it. So it calls for a half a cup of Parmesan cheese or mozzarella or any kind of cheese you have. I found, I added about a fourth a cup of mozzarella to it already that I grated previous. And I'm still gonna do that half a cup of grated Parmesan just because I like grated Parmesan and I think it tastes good. We're gonna also bump up the flavor profile a little. We're gonna add some fresh garlic to it. And I promise you, I did this one at a live party. We just did breadsticks on a pan, but it's the same recipe. Um, I find with kids, the secret is presenting it different. That's why I think the waffle stick pan will be fun because kids are gonna go, oh, that's cool, I didn't know that. They're not even gonna think twice. And plus these taste more like cheese. You really don't taste the cauliflower in it because cauliflower is a magical food and it pretty much takes on the flavor that you give to it. So we're gonna use our garlic press here. And my husband loves that garlic you get at the grocery store that is already already minced in a jar of water, but I looked up some information about that and you don't have any clue how long it's been sitting there or how fresh it really is. And so I taught him how to use my garlic press, which that was kind of a big piece. Hi, puppy. She's decided to help after all. 
but I got a little garlic over here. Apparently I'm talking too loud because she was sleeping. So I love that you don't have to skin it. The skin comes right off. You can put another piece in there. Let's add a couple. I like garlic. Who likes garlic? Did you know if you rub garlic, I've never tested it, but I've been told this. If you rub garlic on the bottom of your feet, it will come out in your breath. Now I'm talking probably a lot of garlic, but someone told me that once uh, when I was taking a nutrition class because your body craves and loves garlic. It's so good for you. And also, a friend was telling me, if you ever need to get that, the smell out of your hands from fresh garlic or onion, you just need stainless steel to do that. And so like a steel wool pad would work. I personally have found, when I'm doing a demonstration at someone's house, if they have stainless steel uh, you know, fridge or whatnot, just go wipe your hands on it. Works the same. Okay, there we go. I think we got all we want. Oop, I don't want that in there. Put that over there. Now you can add different flavorings. I've done, um, our favorite here is bacon ranch cauliflower breadsticks. You can add in some bacon already. I don't have any bacon ready. I'm actually gonna be using this. It's called Ranch Tastic Seasoning um, because a lot of seasonings, especially on keto, have hidden carbs in them. And this is actually made by someone who does keto and there's no like hidden sugars. If you go look at a lot of your seasonings, they have extra stuff in it you don't need. And this is by far my most favorite one he makes. So you can do a lot of amazing things in it. All he's added, and I say he because the owner's a wonderful man. And you can buy these on selectsavoryseasonings.com. And in it, all he's got in here is onion, garlic, salt, parsley, black pepper, dill weed. So technically you can make your own, but I'm lazy like that. So probably about a teaspoon. And then one of my favorite things is to drizzle a little bit of, okay, that's maybe more a tablespoon, is to drizzle um, a little bit of ranch, just ranch dressing over them after they come out of the oven so good but anyway back to I made these at a cooking party once and we're gonna do two eggs maybe three depending now keep in mind your cauliflower does tend to hold a lot of moisture so you, you don't really need to compensate because these will get soggy but I was at a cooking party and I made the breadsticks and there was uh, one of the guests had brought her teenage son and he kept saying cauliflower breadsticks and I said I promise you after they come out you try them just one bite and you if you I guarantee you're probably gonna like them. You know, this is a 16, 17 year old boy. They're picky. Hey, and we're gonna, I'm gonna bump up the nutrition in this. Not that cauliflower's not already nutritious, but doesn't have a ton of protein. So let's add some protein. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna use the Enrichables. You might've seen me talk about this on and off. Um, Pampered Chef has come out with, I wish they'd had these when my daughter was younger because she was a carboholic. So I'm gonna actually add the pea protein to it. It gives you 10 grams of protein to anything you add to it. It has no flavor. And this is actually a neutral color so you won't even notice it in there. They also have kel and fiber so that you get two cups of kel, gives you eight grams of fiber. All in this pack, though, and there's no flavor to it. The catch with this one is it's a dark green color. So unless you want green breadsticks, I probably don't need the kale. But protein was always a problem with my daughter. Like I mentioned, she was my definitely my carb eater. And I could not get her to eat anything with protein in it. She is much healthier now. She understands food. She, In fact, she teaches me more about food than, than I do. And probably because I added that, I might add that third egg. And I'll post the recipes as well, so don't stress. But I just thought, this is fun. It's kind of like having bread sticks, but your vegetables at the same time. Now, if we could just figure out how to make dessert with cauliflower, we'd have it made, but don't do it. And I don't do mashed cauliflower too often because it tastes like cauliflower and not mashed potatoes. So I like to do different things with it. I still think this needs more ranch in it. And let's add a little salt and pepper. So what's everybody else making for dinner? I know Georgie's, it's dinner time for you. What are you making? I know her daughter likes to cook with her. Georgie used to sell Pampered Chef too. Hello, hello, we've got Tammy and Maddie and Renee. Um, Marianne's one of my awesome hosts currently watching. I may have missed some because it scrolled up. I hear it's more um, gourmet if I do it from high. Anyway, <laughs> some days. Just that way, what can I say? I 
I've had a lot of people reach out saying I'm so freaking bored of my recipes. I don't know what to make for dinner. We have the same thing over and over. So I'm trying to give you ideas. I will say out of all my power tools, I probably use my pressure cooker and the air fryer the most. And I'm big on, I don't know how to cook for two people because I cooked for a family before everyone. Ooh, you're grilling my filet mignon? What the heck? Georgie's having filet mignon. Did you know you can cook steak in your air fryer and it is delicious? Like the, I picked up some just small cuts of ribeye the other day, about 10 minutes, 10, 12. I like medium rare. I like it a little mooing just a touch, but it does the bomb. One of the reasons a lot of my guests love to purchase this or earn it as a host because you can earn it half price is they love cooking salmon in it because that is one of my husband's biggest pet peeves. When I cook salmon on the stove top, it makes my house smell like fish. Nobody likes that. And so I can put it in the air fryer. It takes a lot less time and it doesn't stink up your house. You don't own an air fryer. Well, I can help you with that. So we're gonna be using, like I said, we're gonna be making our breadsticks in the waffle stick pan. I've seen everything done in this from just traditional um, pancakes and you could do different fruits. I've seen Jello Jigglers, brownies with whipped cream, I thought was just clever. Uh, like I said, I have an amazing PDF full of recipes from other consultants. Now, this is a nonstick pan. I do know a lot of people with our pans have great luck with certain things and other things sometimes tend to stick. So one thing just to be cautious uh, for me, because I haven't cooked these in here before, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Do not use the store-bought oil. Um, like Pam, it builds up a residue in your pans and will actually ruin your pans. So this actually is just avocado oil that I have in the kitchen spritzer and this awesome tool builds up its own pressure from the pumping action so I can control what I put on my pan. So all it is is just avocado oil. You can do olive oil. Just a little bit on that. I'd rather be safe than sorry because digging something out that didn't stick and I'm just going to use my basting brush to make sure I coated that pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. That'll work great. To fill these, you only want to do about six tablespoons um, per well. Don't overfill it and I'm just going to use my scoop and spread. This is an awesome tool that Pampered Chef offers to, it's great for making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I also love it for scooping things out. So that's about a tablespoon each. So, oh, these are gonna be delicious. I wish you could all come. It would be super yummy. Again, I will post the recipe. Feel free if you have any questions to post them and I'll try and catch them. You guys are pretty good about just hanging out and watching. So I've got in the party, we're having a lot of fun with one of my virtual block parties. I have three amazing hosts. I have Marianne and Sherry and Christy, and they have invited their friends to all party together in one, like a neighborhood block party is what we do. It just makes it easier. Power, uh, Facebook likes us better when we do that, as opposed to me running three separate parties. We do it all virtually. I did have a host last week. I think she's watching. She's now one of my team members. Um, instead of doing a traditional online party, we decided to try a Zoom demonstration. And so she's seen me do this, and it worked out great. Um, so I'm excited to try more Zoom parties where people can gather together at a specific time with their friends. I probably will turn off the chatting feature because that was really hard to manage across the counter and just demo. That way if you have friends, I know a lot of people tell me, well, I don't have a lot of friends on Facebook. So I, we, we can manage that, no problem. I'm also going to be doing another quick cooker, pressure cooker workshop. It works for anybody that's interested in figuring out how to use their pressure cooker a little bit better, maintenance and some recipe ideas. I'll probably be doing that Saturday about 11. I will post about it. To double check my schedule because you know we're all so running here and there actually I'm just kidding I have another meeting in the morning I got to figure out when I'll be off that it'll be quick and easy if you're interested it's free and you don't have to purchase anything I'm just here to share information 
the bonus is if you'd like to do anything with Pampered Chef, I'm your girl. Ooh, so I have plenty left that I can make more, but look how awesome those are gonna turn out. We're gonna stick them in the oven at 400, I believe it is, for 15 minutes, and then they'll come out as yummy cauliflower breadsticks. And we're gonna add it with our, I know it's so non-traditional. I know, cauliflower breadsticks and turkey tenderloin, that's okay, I'm okay with that. Um, uh, one of my favorite things to do is just roast vegetables straight in here. In fact, I need two air fryers. I'm just saying. One so I could be doing the rotisserie feature and another one so I could be cooking up some roasted veggies. But don't tell my husband I said that. He's already bugged. I have my pressure cooker, my blender on the counter. But they're pretty and I like to see them all the time. Okay, I'm just checking out. For those of you who joined late, you're welcome to go back and watch it again. I'm going to post it here shortly. And if you have any questions, you're welcome. Hey, look, Karen. Karen's my low carb, one of my low carb friends. Um, I did cauliflower breadsticks. I know that sounds weird, but cauliflower ranch breadsticks, and I will post the recipe. They're delicious, and I'm doing it in the awesome, can you see that, waffle stick pan. Just because sometimes I was saying it's fun for your kids and your family, even my husband, to present something in a non-traditional way so that they're more likely to give it a try. Another thing I know with kids, with my own personal kids, hey Stace, is to get your kids involved in helping you cook because they'll be more inclined to try something they've never tried before if they're the ones who created the recipe. It worked every time with my kids, I promise. Give it a try, let your kids help. Even help let them go through maybe a cookbook and find a recipe that they've never tried, never had before. Um, that's how, my kids are great cooks and I'm thankful for that because my husband came to me 28 years ago, still can't cook a lick. He can barbecue, kinda, but that's okay. So you guys are awesome, thanks for joining me. Again, if you have any questions, especially in my party, my hosts are ready to help you out as well as myself. So thanks, you guys have been awesome. Again, I'll post the recipes along with the finished pictures. This guy's still got how long left? Oh, 27 minutes, that's not too bad. I'm so hungry though, because I didn't have lunch. So thanks for joining me. We're gonna call this Lunch with Lori, and I will be back, I'm sure, as I come up with more ideas, so. <laughs> Just whatever I'm cooking. Here's the problem. A lot of times on What's For Dinner Wednesday, we still haven't eaten the leftovers from the last two days and I am refused to make more. So that's why we're just gonna do these impromptu little videos. So you guys are awesome. Have a great day. Cook on. I'd love to see what you're making for dinner. Feel free to tag me or post it in our party. Um, what are the dimensions of the air fryer? Oh, that's a great question. I don't know if Nikki's still on here. I don't, hey Pam, welcome. Let me see, I don't have my it's smaller than it's smaller than the gigantic one I had and bigger than the little one <laughs> I will post those for you miss Penny and then I also wanted to point out it does come hello Pauline it does come with this awesome guidebook I love 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 this guidebook because it's handy in fact I should laminate it because I use it so often so in it this come everybody gets this it describes the parts of your air fryer but then it has like a frozen food section tells you um, what setting to put it on if you're going to use your tray or your basket and the time which I don't want to have to think that hard or have to google it for the hundredth time It's actually much smaller than the one I had but what I love about this one You can buy the smaller ones. That's the very first one I had was the one with the basket But it was so small. I was having to do things in batches over and over and over I hated that and so I love that we have the two tray options so I can be cooking um, chicken um, strips on the top and a vegetable on the bottom halfway through this lovely machine tells me when I hit halfway I just rotate them so I have the them evenly under the heating element it's a pushed air so of course you're gonna get that really nice cook all the way around but if you've never tried it for fried foods it's a much healthier way to cook than um, frying your foods uh, you've got roast vegetables your chicken fish and seafood section it sh explains rotisserie takes all of the work dehydrating I actually am going to be doing a demo with some dehydrated pineapple I used to do that all the time and I haven't done it in a while because I don't want to pull out my big giant dehydrator with all the trays it's messy I just want to be able to use what I have on my counter and then it has some amazing recipes in here for we've tried these coconut shrimp Ugh, delightful this cod with beans so you cook them all at the same time it's just an amazing little guidebook you can even make your desserts in here and I haven't tried these yet they're hand pies I gotta figure out a keto version, huh, Karen? 
You missed me yesterday? Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. So a lot of you are used to my What's For Dinner Wednesday, but um, since new puppy came along and my husband is working graves, he hates it when I kick him out for What's For Dinner Wednesday. So we're changing it to Lunch With Lori. And I will just post this way, you can see what to make for dinner. Stop and grab what you need and make it that night instead of me just making it and making you hungry. So there you go. You guys are awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I still have room in my party next week. It's time We can still get you on there and get you that extra bonus rewards. They're offering up to $100 in extra free rewards for my parties. And so I'd love to squeeze you in if you're interested. Otherwise, May is an amazing month. We have all of the cookware on sale at 60% off for our hosts. So thanks for joining me, you guys. Have an awesome day. I'm going to go play with a puppy now. See you later. But now you're going to look at my messy kitchen because i got to turn you off the other direction. Hey, guys. Thanks.